This is a Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi, Ghana. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology was established to advance knowledge in science and technology for sustainable development in Africa. Its mission has been to provide an environment for teaching, research and entrepreneurship training in science and technology for the industrial and socio-economic development of Ghana, Africa and other nations. This is the Department of Chemistry. And this is the Computational Chemistry Laboratory of the Department of Chemistry. Established with the Talif grants by Professor Ivan Sadai, the laboratory is a molecular and materials modeling facility dedicated to the use of state-of-the-art computational chemistry techniques to study the chemical and physical behavior of molecules and materials for application in a wide range of areas, including the development of homogeneous catalysts that can perform chemical transformations with high efficiencies and selectivities, thereby reducing energy consumption and production of harmful byproducts. Development of novel transition metal catalyst that can efficiently convert carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases to useful fuels, thereby tackling problems of energy and climate change. Development of new drug molecules and vehicles to fight diseases and improve quality of life and the development of environmentally friendly, sustainable and cost-effective energy alternatives. Some aspects of the laboratory's research is funded by the UK's Royal Society through the Lever Hume and DFID grants. Research activities in the laboratory at the present time fall under two broad areas, namely molecular modeling and materials modeling. modeling, our focus has been on exploring the mechanisms of organic, inorganic and organometallic reactions. These studies afford important molecular level mechanistic details of industrially relevant chemical reactions that are difficult, if not impossible, to obtain experimentally. Understanding enables chemical reactions to be guided quickly and efficiently along desirable pathways with the effect of producing the right product with minimal energy consumption and minimal environmental impact. The key aspect of this work is the development of homogeneous transition metal catalyst for the depolymerization of lignin, an abundant natural resource for fuel. In materials modeling, our focus has been on the computer-aided design of materials for heterogeneous catalysis. The atomic and molecular level mechanistic insights gained from these studies are useful for the design of novel catalysts for the conversion of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, 
as well as stranded gases from the petroleum refining into useful fuels. This addresses the problem of global warming as well as providing an environmentally friendly alternative source of fuel. It is very exciting working with these young students as they take their first steps into life as research scientists. Some of them are really self-motivated, very hardworking, very focused in what they are doing. Some of the work some of these young students are doing is really cutting edge and it is, it is very interesting that even undergraduate students are doing these kinds of work in this part of the world. The way our lab is set up, our offices are right here. The students work right here with us and so they can always walk up to us when they have any questions or when they have something interesting they want to discuss with us. It was G. N. Lewis who said way back in 1933 that in the Schrodinger equation we very nearly have the mathematical foundation for the solution of the whole problem of atomic and molecular structure. It was considered a very excessively bold statement back then. I am sure he would have been fascinated to see even an undergraduate student living his dream in the remotest parts of Africa. Currently, we collaborate with other research groups, both computational and experimental, in Africa and abroad. These include the University College London, Cardiff University, the University of Johannesburg, the University of Botswana, the University of Namibia, and the Botswana International University of Science and Technology. This is Lawrence Kenneth Bodo, and this is his project partner, Joseph Frempon. Like Sheldon and Leonard in the sitcom The Big Bad Theory, these two guys are rumored to have a combined IQ of 360. They are working on the mechanisms of ruthenium and nickel catalyzed cycloadditions of alkenal phosphonates with no bonadiene. This reaction is very important in the synthesis of pharmaceutically relevant carbocyclic and heterocyclic compounds, but the mechanism has not been unambiguously elucidated, despite the case of extensive research. This is the reaction that is engaging the attention of these two young men. This is Iris Bafuansa. Iris's work is on nickel-mediated oxidative cross-coupling reactions of carbon dioxide and olefins. Concerns over increasing levels of carbon dioxide makes industrial processes that utilize carbon dioxide as feedstock very attractive. Iris's work looks at ways to incorporate carbon dioxide as a feedstock in cross-coupling reactions towards a feasible conversion to useful fine working on nickel mediated oxidative coupling reactions of carbon dioxide and all the things towards the conversion of carbon dioxide to useful chemicals.
This is Samuel Bequen. He is working on the ring opening reactions of dialkoxymethylene cyclopropane to trimethylene methanes and the follow up reactions. Okay, my name is Samuel Bequen, and my research is on a mechanistic study of the ring opening reaction of dialkoxymethylene cyclopropane to trimethylene methane and the follow-up reactions. So my research aims at studying the singlet triplet energy separation of the trimethylene methane species and look at how temperature, um, electronic and steric effects affects the stability of the trimethylene methane species. And then look at the reactions of trimethylene methane species on both the singlet and the triplet uh, potential energy surfaces. That is the 3 plus 2 cycle addition reaction and the homocoupling of the trimethyl methane to form diamonds. Our collaboration with researchers has led to students and researchers undertaking research visits to our lab. Bianca. I'm from South Africa. I am from the University of Johannesburg. I did my undergraduate as well as my honours degree at UJ and I am now my, in my final year of my masters at UJ doing organometallic chemistry as well as catalysis. Um, I came here to KNUST to do some computational chemistry with um, Dr. Tia and Prof. Dye. The reason being is, as experimentalists, we're now at a point where you need theoretical chemistry to become a more well-rounded scientist and to actually understand your work. So I came here to learn the basics and apply what I've learned to the systems that I'm working on to get a better understanding of the chemistry that I've done. Overall, I found KNUST to be a wonderful university with exceptionally helpful and friendly people who are willing to help you at any point.